just opened a brand new training center in Nocatee. It is a nonprofit that trains rescue dogs to help veterans with PTSD. So yesterday was the grand opening, but really it was thanks in part to, to you. All the donations made during all the telethons we had, it was because of you that this was possible. It's just incredible. Yeah. So on your side, Jeannie Blaylock has more on this project and how this is going to help so many veterans. Welcome to the training center at Canines for Warriors that you guys made possible with the city of Jacksonville and everybody that contributed to allow us to have this building. The big deal is it's inside and it is air conditioned. This allows us to work on more tasks uh, more frequently. So when it gets hot, we can't take them outside. When it's raining, we can't be training outside. And right now you're watching Mr. Yeah, that's his name. And Mr. is doing a great job. The idea here. It looks like a little yoga exercise. Build coordination for more complex commands. It takes months for trainers to work with the dogs. They have to be ready for the veterans, like Layton from Putnam County. All right, here's the fun part. Free! We Go met on, Layton at our telethon, an Army veteran. He tried suicide three times. But now, with his service dog... He's my buddy. Layton is back to life in his cool cowboy boots. Yeah! So a big thanks to all of you folks supporting Canines for Warriors at our telephones. And now the fun part, I get to pet Mr. here. He is from a shelter, he's a rescue from Georgia. And in case you're curious, he is a Dutch Shepherd. <laughs> and thank goodness he's here, saved his life. And so far, Canines for Warriors has graduated 558 vets with a 99% success rate. And no doubt our veterans deserve to be rescued from that dark pit of PTSD. Jeannie Blaylock, First Coast News, on your side.